National Health and Medical Research Council Clinical Trial Centre is one of the preeminent clinical trials centres in Australia. It helps doctors and nurses and other allied health workers design and implement trials to determine whether new treatments are better than the existing therapies and new strategies to improve the health and well-being of Australians and people all around the world. In particular in the area of diabetes, the PREDICT study, led by Professor Hardika, is an excellent example of how basic science discoveries can lead to tests in blood samples from humans with diabetes to see if they play out in real life to the advantage of patients. Type 1 diabetes involves immune-mediated death of insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. When cells are being killed, uh, the glucose concentrations in, uh, in the blood uh, start increasing. However, it is not until 70 to 80 percent of insulin-producing cells are killed that glucose concentrations are significantly higher in circulation. Glucose is currently the clinical test for diagnosing type 1 diabetes. Unfortunately, glucose is such a blunt instrument that you can't detect high levels of glucose in circulation unless 70 or 80 percent of insulin producing cells are killed. There is a need to develop a test or a kit that can efficiently and very sensitively detect the death of insulin producing cells from the pancreas so that we will be able to measure the death, not at 70%, but even as it starts. When I was diagnosed almost 20 odd years ago, it blindsided my family. And all that could be done is put me on multiple daily injections. Now, if we're able to identify kids progressing into type 1 diabetes before the symptoms arise, we'll be able to intervene and minimize the impact on the children and on their families. If my son was going into type 1 diabetes, I would want to know. I would want to put him in a better situation than I was. The PREDICT T1D study aims to fill that gap so we can detect early those who are developing type 1 diabetes or symptoms of type 1 diabetes before they become sick. The study is mainly based on analysis of microRNAs. These are non-coding RNA molecules which are present in the cells but can be released out of dead or dying cells to uh, the circulation and could be measured in the peripheral circulation as biomarkers of the death of insulin producing cells. Since 2006, our lab has been interested in understanding expression of microRNAs in human pancreas and now we are using an open array platform to profile microRNA from hundreds of different tissues and plasma samples to validate this set of microRNAs which is associated with and most importantly predictive of diabetes. An important aspect of this study is the analysis of these candidate microRNAs in ethnically diverse individuals. These studies will help us understand if our candidate microRNAs are conserved across the ethnically diverse populations of the world. What we have developed from all of these analyses is a small customized chip that contains around 56 candidate microRNAs and can be used by Tacman PCR based technologies, one of the highest sensitive platforms for detection of microRNAs. What we aim to achieve is to create a point of care device which can be used in a patient setting. The idea came through discussion with our friends at RMIT in Melbourne. Professor Vipul Bansal and Ravi Shukla are nanobiotechnologists. They would basically have nanoparticles bound to antisense microRNAs, which would end up in creating a color reaction if those microRNAs are present in plasma of patients. We have made a paper-based device of the size of a penny, and you put a drop of blood there, and there are different regions in that device, they change color. And based on the change of the color, then you can tell uh, whether somebody may have type 1 diabetes or may not have type 1 diabetes. Diabetes is a very complex disease, so you're looking at changes in 18 or 20 different colors. So at the moment, our chip can detect three biomarkers, changing in three colors. But in the future, uh, with the help of our colleagues at MNRF, Micro Research Facility at RMIT, we are transferring this chip 
into a miniaturized device using an optical system, then we can read out those 18 colors. The other advantage is to have Professor Anand Mitchell involved in this. You have all of these microRNA candidates on waveguides where you can get down to a single copy level of sensitivity. When insulin producing cells become destroyed through the autoimmune process, we don't have good measures to understand and follow that process. The PREDICT T1D study can help to identify that process much faster and develop new drugs and therapies that can be identified and accelerate outcomes and benefits to people with type 1 diabetes.